Hi everybody, this is Amy Haben with your weekly horoscopes from June 12th through the 18th. So luckily this week we can breathe some fresh air as the load is a bit lighter. Uh, we have a full moon in Sagittarius on Tuesday, which is bringing in this like flirty new beginnings type of vibe. So. A lot of us will be getting into new partnerships. Some of us will be just aware of what is lacking in our lives and what we need to do to change that, whether it be, you know, where you live, where you want to travel, who you want to be with, or intellectually. There's a Gemini Sun, um, Sag Moon Axis, uh, where our comfortable side is being stimulated to move to broader horizons. So we're making plans, taking things that were just ideas or wants or fantasies into action. June 13th through July 5th, Mercury's in Gemini, making us much more sociable and curious, which is a good thing. Venus is in Taurus until June 22nd. This is a very sensual and possessive vibe that urges us to have a long lasting relationship, but with a lot of spice. So Mars is in Aries until July 5th, making us feel confident and forward thinking um, with an urge to win. So this is really good for our careers. Um, this Tuesday through Thursday, the energies are restless um, but there's a luck in love, so it's time to make new connections. Saturday and Sunday, this weekend, it, it's going to be a little bit hard. We're going to feel like a sense of lack, so try to stay grateful for what you have. Um, there's an urge to not, to not start a new relationship this weekend, as your partner may feel imprisoned by... A commitment so d just don't do it this weekend all right into the signs so Aries the full moon is stimulating your intellect you may be reigning in your fly-by-night tendencies to work harder and more efficient leading to a promotion Taurus you will be financially motivated this week you'll be able to see your long-term goals I also feel like you're going to have a pretty steamy sex life this week. Gemini. Mercury is in your sign, adding um, to some extra knowledge and easier communication to your day to day. Uh, the full moon is in your relationship sector, bringing partnerships to completion, whatever that means for you. Cancer. Time for a health checkup this week. A lot of you are. Also revisiting a past love, which, you know, it just wasn't, it was something you couldn't let go of, but unfortunately this is just gonna lead to some frustrating feelings and sort of like roadblocks, but you'll learn from it. Leo, the full moon is giving you a boost sexually. You'll also have a lot of clarity when it comes to relationships and friendships. Um, and a lot of positivity is coming to you this week. Some of you may be even getting proposed to or planning to move. Virgo, some of you will be getting a lot of uh, social media attention as Mercury enters Gemini, helping your ideas reach the masses. So with all this sudden attention, just make sure that you take some time to relax and meditate and be by yourself and like go read a book in the park because you're gonna need that alone time after you're getting all this attention. Libra. Um, many of you will be having um, a exclusivity conversation with your partners. Don't be afraid. You know, you Libras try to pretend like you're this like easygoing playboy type of energy, but really, secretly inside you want that commitment you want that love you want that person so um your communication sector is actually highlighted this week making even the toughest of conversations smooth and easy for you so whether it's love or work whatever kind of 
conversation you need to have, you might as well do it this week because you'll be your best at communication. Scorpio, many of you will be putting down that commitment ultimatum um, because you're feeling very good about yourself and you're just going for what you want and without the fear of what others may think. Many of you will be, be um, have clarity around money this week and your time. So even if you're gonna change jobs or you're thinking about changing your job, you're gonna feel really good about this because you know what you're worth. Sagittarius, you are really feeling really clear about what you want in your partner. You also have a bit of self-esteem boost when, and usually you Sagas kind of care about what your friends or family think about your decisions, but this week you don't give a fuck. You are ready to go after that person that you want and you don't care who dislikes it. Um, yeah, the, the full moon in your sign, Sag, is just giving you extra confidence. And work-wise, many of you will be signing beneficial pro uh, contracts, which is a great thing. Um, also, the part of you that lives in fantasy, which for I have a lot of Sagittarius as, for, as friends, and they all live in a bit of fantasy. You're going to get a reality check, and you're going to see clearly what is just fantasy in your mind and what is the truth about that person or situation. Capricorn. Something hidden is coming to light for you this week. Um, it's like you had rose colored glasses on with a certain person in your life and unfortunately you're seeing they're not as pretty as you, you try to think they were. But you will also be uh, paying really well attention to yourself because you're sort of going through this illumination and you'll play nurse to yourself by going and buying like a nice new outfit and getting a massage and keeping your friends around that you really want to hang out with so it'll actually be a very pleasurable week for you even with some maybe not so great news about a person aquarius <clears throat> so fun is your male name this week your social life is on fire as this climax of gemini season is all around you the full moon illuminates your dreams being met so congratulate yourself for all your hard work a lot of things are coming to fruition right now it's been a long time and you deserve it so um enjoy this week and have fun with your friends creativity and self-expression is actually at an all-time high for you aquariuses and if you're in a relationship you might want to have like a deep conversation about each other's wants and needs uh, moving forward. Pisces, you're pretty happy this week. You um, may have been having some big family discussions, whether it be a, like with the ex about the kids or, you know, just scheduling things or who's going to take care of mom, whatever. Um, but overall, you will be having fun. There are with this full moon in Sagittarius, your actual, your public life sector is getting illuminated. There are so many Pisces celebrities out there and you know, who knows, maybe it's your turn. So put yourself out there on social media, whatever it is you do, you know, make sure to publicize your business or your talents and see where it goes. Cause it's like a really positive week for you. So um, that's it. Those are my 12 signs till next time.